All right, so I wanted to touch on this harness I made real quick and um, some things about it and um, what my plans are here. So I built this harness for a 2RZ. It's for um, uh, it's a wasted spark motor, so it's got the two coils on the front. Sequential injection, so four injector drivers, two coil drivers. Um, that leaves us two spare coil drivers that we can use for a regular output on our link Atom ECU here. Owner opted for an Atom over a Monsoon. Advantages of a Monsoon would be the built-in map sensor and a couple extra um, inputs and outputs here. So they have the same connector. Monsoon just has a, a few more options over the Atom. Uh, they're both very small, very light ECUs. Um, so the harness here Let's start at the ECU itself. This is a link pre-terminated harness that I used for just ease of building this. Single connector harness, used every single piece of I.O. available other than one digital input, which will be reserved for operator area, whether he wants a clutch switch or something of the sort. Um, in the future, we may have to use a CAN bus I.O. extender if he wants to add more sensors, which is more than likely what's going to happen. Either that or a Razor PDM to go along with the Atom ECU here. Um, but moving on, we have our Busman fuse block, which is not complete yet, so that's why it, it looks kind of like a mess. Um, I ended up buying the wrong fuse block. I meant to get ones that are... Each, each fuse and relay is individual, but here all the relays are powered by this lug, so this will activate all the relays unless you're using a, so like how I'm doing it is I'm powering this right here from the ignition and then I'm using grounds to trigger all these relays, which is how I would do it with the other relay, but on this one they're all getting together off the same power, which is okay, but the problem is really on the fuse side. So each fuse is powered by this same main lug, which is not going to work out for what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to use one of these five relays to power a few of these ten fuses, and I could have individual fusing for, say, my injectors, my coils, my flex fuel sensor, my boost control solenoid, my idle control. Some of those would be combined, like maybe the ECU, would be on its own, but then my injectors, my coils, maybe my idle and boost control solenoid, my flex fuel, and then I could down here start with my fuel pump, my fan. Um, I can't do that with this because each individual fuse is powered by the same power source. I can't split those up at all. Um, so moving on, CAN bus connector. This is the the base of any future expansion. You need to have this so you can add future modules. And just for an example, I have the link can gauge here. Um, this is a really cool little tool. I have one in my car. There, you can have four displays on this one screen and you can have up to ten different screens. So you can have a whole lot of info on just this one gauge um, if you want to check vitals you can if you want to run it just as a boost gauge or in a wideband you can a lot of people will use a CAN bus wideband which is what this ECU is going to be using it's using an AEM X series CAN bus wideband so he could use the gauge and then the ECU could also get that data but CAN bus is one of the most important things for expansion you need to have that in your harness I like to use these AEM gangs you can just plug your main ECU into it and then three devices. Um, you can get this with more ports or less ports. You can build splitters. You can do whatever you want. CAN bus is almost infinitely expandable. Moving on to up the main trunk of the harness, we have the exhaust side. So on this car, the throttle body sits here, and the intake tube goes this way over the top of the engine. So I have my coolant temp, which is on the back of the block on a 2RZ, I have my intake temp, which will go into the intake pipe, going straight over the top of the engine. And then I have my EWG, or exhaust wastegate. This is a two-pin DTM connector that will go to a MAC valve, three-port or four-port. 
that will live on the firewall in this area to control a wastegate which will live up here on the turbo manifold for this car. Moving forward is coils, two coils, wasted spark, cylinders one and four, one and four, can you see that? Cylinders one and four, and cylinders two and three. And then the ground, I don't have a lug with me, otherwise that would be terminated. I'm at my house, my, all my, most of my stuff's at my shop. Going on to the other side, I have my flex fuel sensor. Um, also, do not have a connector for that right now. I have my injectors, four, three, two, one. I don't know if you can see those, if it's focusing. There you go. Um, Denso plugs, all new. Then throttle body, we have TPS, idle air control. TPS and idle air control focus, all right. And then we have map sensor. So for the map sensor and fuel pressure sensor, we are using low dollar um, pressure sensors. We have a three bar map and a 100 PSI pressure sensor for the fuel pressure. And then over here we have our cam and our crank. So all this stuff is wrapped in a uh, fire resistant high temp loom all of it's labeled I <laughs> I made these labels a little large and for some reason I didn't want to waste it so I didn't make smaller ones but then I realized I bought like 80 feet of this yellow heat shrink and I should have just made smaller ones in hindsight I'll do better next time but it's gonna work great now and this is gonna be a really nice harness for this little 2RZ it's going in a TE 37 Corolla, I think that's what it is. It's it's an older one. Gonna be a cool car though. Got some zip ties on here for strain relief so this stuff can get pulled around and really not have to worry about it. But yeah. So, future plans. I'm gonna build another one of these harnesses. So, I'm gonna take some measurements here. Um, not really concerned with where this stuff lives because it's kinda, kinda up to debate for where someone may want this stuff. You can have your fuse box anywhere you want. You can have your CAN bus cable anywhere you want. We chose here. But what's really important is, say, this distance where this main split is, or this first split, is to where everything else goes. So like I need to know how far my coils have to be up in front of the engine, and how far these guys need to be. Basically it doesn't matter. And take air temp. That can move. That doesn't need to be right there. But temp's important, um, map's not important, because that's a aftermarket sensor anyway. Fuel's not important. Idle air control, TPS, cam, crank, injectors, that stuff's important. So everything that's forward still needs to be documented where it goes. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna document all those distances that way I will be able to create another harness that I will document the whole entire build of and post it on the internet so everyone can see how it's done so yeah that's the basics of link ECU monsoon Adam comparison and this little 2RZ harness I just built so cool check it out see you later